Good morning, and welcome to the wonderful world of Des Moines. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hello. Tonight, we're going to talk about was Craig a runner? I've got that question in different forms before, and I thought we would talk a little about it. When Craig was younger, he definitely was a runner. We didn't have a lot of instances of having to go find or chase after him simply because we just kind of sheltered us and him from that. We, I guess we didn't take him up. Like I remember that there was always a family, like a reunion picnic and there was a lake there or a pond to fish in. And so for, I don't know, what was Craig around three? We stopped going because at that time he would just keep walking straight. Like he was going to walk into the water. So yeah, I'm sure he was going to walk, right? Yeah, he probably was. We'd let him keep yeah. Going. So we just avoided those situations. Um, also fire, Craig would walk right into fire. Uh, so we avoided anything that had to do with that also. Craig did escape from us a couple of times. Um, I know we talked about the story where we were at my mom and dad's and all of a sudden Craig was gone. Yeah. And Joe ran down to, they have a little bridge, I don't know, not so far from their house, maybe a city block. Yep. And it has a little creek under it and Craig had walked down there. Yeah, he was just standing up there looking at the, the creek, but it had very, very, poor railings on it and everything. It was fairly open. He could have easily fallen down in there and everything. If we'd have gave him any extra time or you know, if he'd have tried to walk down in there, he'd have probably took quite the tumble. He also escaped one time over at my dad's yeah. at a family reunion. Mm -hmm. And uh, my sister-in-law was the one that spotted him. He was, he was through dad's backyard, completely through the, the house behind us. And we had an elementary school across from mm -hmm. there. And he was halfway across that, and and uh, she took off just on a streak and caught up with him real quick and hustled him back. So, you know, props to Nikki for going after yes. him like she did. Yep. So, I can't think of any other times where he got away from us like that. But after those two times, we were so afraid. We were very protective and very cautious to not be in those situations. Oh, yeah. We were always really afraid of parking lots or something. Mm -hmm. When when I would get him out of the car, oh yeah. I wouldn't shut the door or anything, you know, and I had a I had a latch on his hand. We didn't ever use oh the little the harnesses, harnesses or anything. Harnesses or anything. We never thought of it, but it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Yeah. I'm but not it, against that. Yeah. A lot of times we went into stores, I carried Craig mm -hmm. until he was too, almost too heavy to carry. Mm -hmm. And he was pretty good about getting in the, in the shopping carts too. Mm -hmm. And if something happened, you know, and he just didn't want to stay, I, I just take him out to the car. You know, he, he didn't throw a lot of, a lot of fits about it or so. And then all of a sudden he just stopped doing that. Yep. I remember we made sure to keep the doors locked when we were in the house and, but I don't remember him ever trying to get out. Nope. And I know some people do have a lot of problems with that. Yeah. Fortunately, we didn't. Yeah. Um, that was our little stint <laughs> where Craig was a runner. And thankfully, it was short-lived, maybe a year. Well, I remember at school, though, they had to have a younger associate because you had to be in good shape to be able to chase Craig across the playground. So I do know that was somewhat of an issue at school because I can remember talking about that. Yeah. Um, we get this question also, how tall is Craig? Craig is five foot, 10 inches. And he probably looks much taller because Joe and I are not tall. Mm -hmm. I'm five <laughs> foot one and- I'm maybe five eight. So I think Craig's closer to 5'11". Yeah. yeah, he could be. It's not that easy to measure him. Yeah. Um, he just doesn't want, he doesn't want to do it. Um, but uh, where did Craig get his height? We don't know. I think that my grandfather was a taller man, but I couldn't tell you how tall he was. I can't think of really anyone else in our family. However, I don't know, I know very little about my dad's extended family because his family, most of them got killed over in Germany or Yugoslavia during the war. Um, World War II. Yes, so 
he only, I only ever knew his brother and his half sister. And I only met his half sister like maybe one time. So um, I really don't know for sure where that height came from. Yeah, I mean, I've got a couple of cousins that were taller, but yeah, that's true. Ne neither one of them, they probably were about the same height as Craig. You know, nobody, mm -hmm. nobody had broke six foot mm -hmm. on, on my side. Dutch people typically are tall. Now, not not this branch of the Dutch tree. <laughs> we're just not tall people. <laughs> we're not. We're more of a bush. My than, parents than weren't a, tall either. A family tree. <laughs> <laughs> and another question I get is, does Craig? know the value of money or the concept of money. Well, he knows what money is, but that's probably his, he knows how to count back money. When he was in high school, they had like a coffee shop and Craig, they told me Craig was really good at counting back change, but he doesn't, he knows if I say that's too expensive, but as far as if he went up to a counter and had cash, and had to pay for something, he wouldn't know how to do that. He understands the concept of saving. Yeah. But he doesn't mm -hmm. understand if you've got a jar this big and it's half full of change or whatever. He really doesn't understand how much that is. And if you told him it was $20 in there or 50, it would about mean the same thing to him. Right. He just means, he'd say, is that enough? And it, we say, no, okay, keep putting more, more change in it. Yeah. And Maybe that's something that we could work on with him more, but I don't really see a need to, I guess, because I don't think it would be safe for Craig to carry around money with him anyway. So yeah, um, he's get he gets his own social security. So you know we we've got we've got that that we spend on you know for his food or whatever whatever and, he needs. Yeah, yeah, and his needs. I mean. A lot of times if he tells us, you know, he's got a hole in his sock or something, mm -hmm. right. well, it's time to get a couple of new packs of socks, you know, and mm -hmm. then we'll just throw all of And he has a debit away. card, which mm -hmm. we do have him pay with his debit card. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. He knows how to do that. He's really yep. good at that. And as he gets really low on that, we don't let him know that he's out of money. Right, because you know, then just, he would panic. We would yeah. just, you know, we, we just, just do it. We, we just, just pay take, it. Yeah. yeah. We just take care of those yep. things. Um, I guess then I'll just add at the end, I've had some people ask me, what are, what are we going to do with the money we make from YouTube? Well, basically when I started this channel, I didn't expect to make much money. So <laughs> <laughs> it's something that was totally unexpected. The money that we make from YouTube is to make Craig's life better. Um, we like to take him places, so this allows us to be able to take him on more trips. He can go to Disney more, um, we, any other little trips. Honestly, when our kids were growing up, we didn't do a lot of family vacations, so we haven't been to like the Black Hills or any of those places. Yeah, so Not the local stuff close to us. Yeah, you know, so. We, we always saved up for a, like a bigger trip, you know, when we would mm -hmm. go to Florida, you know, and have a, a big family trip that way. So really this, this, money is going to be used to give Craig a better life and so that we won't have to use our retirement money as much for vacations. That way we can save more of that money so that after we're gone, Craig is, can be better taken care of because I would like after we're gone that there would be a fund that could pay, you know, Stephanie plans for Craig to live with her, but I would love it if she would be able to hire people to stay with Craig so that they can still go do things with their family and not have to take Craig with them. Um, that's really what, what I've been thinking about, um, being able to have as much saved for Craig's expenses after we're gone. Anything to add? Mm. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, must be over. All right, yes. I think it's time to wrap this up. And if you have any questions, please remember you can always email us at ourdailyview1992 at gmail dot com. With that, we will go on to the next portion of our video. We went to the farmer's market in Carlisle today. It was very rainy, but we still had fun. <laughs> At one point, I was standing <laughs> under one of the canopy things, and the water built up and just came right down on me like a waterfall. And I got drenched. <laughs> so it was an adventure. But... Yep. <laughs>
I had an umbrella. <laughs> well, it's hard to hold, carry an umbrella and still film because that was my plan until I tried to do it and that didn't really work. Thumbs up the video if you want Nancy to get a GoPro with the strap across her forehead. <laughs> I thought you were going to say one of those umbrellas that you wear on, like a hat. There you go. That'd work too. <laughs> I may need that. Uh, so we went to the farmer's market. I think Craig really enjoyed that. Craig and I went to Dollar Tree. We need to buy some more thank you notes. And in a little bit, we're going to make some popcorn. So we will see you all tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Peace. It's a rainy morning, but we are on our way to Carlisle to check out the farmer's Why market. Rain? I know. On the plus side, there's your big gorilla, yeah, there's Craig. There's the big gorilla. It's there every year. <laughs> Fourth of July fireworks. We're almost there. Now we have our umbrellas. And we're going to need them, so we'll have to see. Here we are at the farmer's market in the rain. There is some produce here. I'm going to have to pick some out. There are several vendors here despite the rain. Oh, I do see new potatoes. Which is pretty much one of the things we were after. Two dollars. <laughs> oh, nice onion. I'd have to get some produce. We're getting some potatoes here. Oh, nice. Well, good for you. Well, Craig. Probably try what kind should we try? Peanut butter, that's what I thought. Okay, there's even more so cookies. This is, uh, of course, the regular chocolate chip, monster, uh, sugar, peanut butter, and the inside out, or the you want to get the peanut butter cookies from Hershey's Kids on it, all off of it. Oh, that's the Hershey's wow. Kisses are cooked on the inside. Oh. It says peanut butter and chocolate. Egg roll food truck, that is definitely we have to get some egg rolls. Craig loves egg rolls. There's even some flowers. <laughs> And over here. This looks like pulled pork and everything. Okay. Yeah, that's where everybody's going. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to look at this stuff and then we'll. Hours. <laughs> so we have some. Do you guys want to get some egg rolls? You want to get egg rolls? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. That's some pretty flowers over there. I'm impressed at all these vendors out here selling in the rain. And actually quite a few people milling around. Couldn't wait till we get home. Craig's got to try the egg roll. I can hear it, how crispy it is. Mmm, tastes delicious. What flavor is it? Do you think is it pork or chicken? I didn't pork. ask. I like the crunch. What do you think? Mmm, tastes creamy. Yeah, what a fun find at a farmer's market. We're actually in Carlisle, which is a small town, about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes from Des Moines. I was down there buying, he said he thought it was like pulled pork sandwiches, so he must be eating something for lunch. What's the prices on the two different sizes? Seven. Seven fifteen. Someone has some plants here. The boys that run that booth are so adorable. <laughs> Found himself a nice place to wait under this. They have a tent set up here with chairs, which is a great idea. If it were a nicer day, I'm sure there'd be people sitting there and visiting. People keep coming. Treats. Oh, 
All right, I think that's a wrap. We're wet enough. We saw all the booths. They even have some people playing live music here. This is what Joe was getting at the booth that I thought was pulled pork. It kind of was. It's um, biscuits and gravy with pulled pork on top. It's called cowboy uh, biscuits and gravy is what they call it. Which is funny because it has pork on it. Well, <laughs> here I am. All right, Craig's anxious to try this too. Okay. That eggs again. That eggs is driving me crazy. Mm. I don't want that. It needs some pepper. Eggs. Shut up. I'll just. Oops. What do you think, Craig? Delicious. Here's our egg rolls and crab rangoons and our pots, pot stickers, which I did have a video of Craig eating one of the pot stickers in the crab rangoon. Here's a little look inside the egg roll. There's a lot of meat in here. I think it's pork. They're really good. Here are the spoils mm. of the farmer's market trip. I got this cake pot for Libby. It's Oreo. I don't know why I didn't buy one for Josie. I'm feeling bad about that. I keep forgetting now she's old enough to eat these things too. Cherry pie, <laughs> Joe's favorite. We got some lettuce, potatoes, and some nice looking onions. And these cookies that were made by our friendly Hy-Vee pharmacist. And the lady was selling a lot of different jams there. She also had boozy jams, but I didn't want to buy a big thing of them, especially since I just bought those two larger things of jam. <laughs> which I, the, the Amanas, which are going to last quite a while. But this one, I tried, I decided to try one of her little ones, which is strawberry mango margarita. So we'll have to see what that tastes like. And a little cupcake. I had to buy this because the boys at that booth were so adorable. When it's raining like this, you just really want to buy off the people. <laughs> I used to do farmer's market for eight years I think when my kids were little and it's a lot of work and then when you get there and it's raining it's really a bummer it's just it feels like a struggle the whole time but I'm glad there were shoppers there buying stuff a lot of people there. there there was Craig what did you think of the farmer's market I think it turned out to be great mama yeah even in the rain right yep Craig did really good enjoyed himself there We'll have to go back when it's not raining. It made me think that we need to actually get Craig a bona fide rain jacket. Yeah. We could probably all use those. I have them. I don't have, I mean, I don't have a real one anymore. I, <clears throat> we have those plastic things that they're not very fun to wear. I've liked everything I've tried so far, but these cookies are kind of the bomb. They're like, they're very like uh, dense doughy texture, which I like. It's kind of like eating cookie dough, I never tried this one. but definitely baked, but they're very soft. That one's an inside out, like peanut blossom. Mm. And Joe kind of hit the nail on the head. They taste like Gideon's cookies at Disney Springs. They're very good. Well, if you're ever in the area super, and super soft. hit up the farmer's market in Carlisle on a Saturday morning, have to find the booth with these cookies they are two dollars a piece or they were six for so much maybe Three six for, for six. ten no that was it was a better deal i think it was six for oh ten and yeah six for ten yeah i'm pretty that's sure that's awesome. what it was so so far everything's been delicious or if you're in florida you just go get gideon's and they're not two dollars yeah they're a lot more expensive this is a bargain and Stephanie and I went to Target last night, and they had their outdoor items at 80% off, so I got some good deals there. I love this planter. I'm going to get some cactus mix today and put my cactus I got in there. I think that's going to look really cute. I got some little projects that I thought would be fun for Craig and I. I found out since one of our viewers sent us some kits, similar kits to grow things, Craig and Libby really enjoy that, so I picked those up and 
some lights. We're getting a sunroom built very soon. So I'm maybe putting those in there. Uh, bird feeder, of course. Couldn't pass that up. Some gardening gloves because when you mess with roses, you really need gloves on. And these party flames. I thought these looked fun. I'm not sure when we'll use them, but I couldn't pass them up because we used to get... A long time ago, we got these pine cones that you threw into a, your fireplace and they made the fire turn different colors. And I guess that memory made me want to buy those, even though we don't have that kind of a fireplace. <laughs> and we've never started our fireplace since we moved in here two years ago. I got some hanging pots for next year and just two white pots that I thought would go good, would be good to plant some things in. And I also got a couple of big pillows, and it all came to, like, $50. And I might take the pillows back. Can you do a shout-out to Misty for her birthday? Happy birthday, Misty! Happy birthday, Misty. We hope you had a great day. We hope you have a great day. One, two, three. It's the number. Yeah, that's the number. Stomp, stomp. That's the number. Stomp, stomp. That's the number. The day. Right. Craig and I made a little trip to Dollar Tree today. So we need some more thank you cards. And it's still 4th of July. Let's see. Craig's found some toys to look at. What is that, Craig? Oh, he's stuck. These are their a little more expensive toy section. Hmm. Is it Don't squishies know. in there? Hmm. <laughs> Should we get some orange Play-Doh and see what it smells like for no. the girl? I think the girls would like it. I usually like to pick up Play-Doh while we're at Dollar Tree because it keeps the girls, well, mostly Libby, busy for a long time. Josie just makes a big mess out of it. Go get some flossers. You got them? Let's see if there's anything else we need. Dollar Tree's a little bit more. I'd get this if it was big enough. This is cute. I don't know. They're $5. I don't really want to pay that for them. Yeah. Check out what they have interesting at Dollar Tree today. Pineapple ones. Those might be good, actually. I don't know. But I don't think we're... Which do you like better, red vines or Twizzlers? I like red vines the best. And Joe likes Twizzlers, so. Flavored seaweed? Teriyaki flavored, teriyaki flavored seaweed. I wonder what it'll be like. I think I'm going to try it. I probably won't like it, but I'm going to try it. These are some really cute storage baskets. I like the I like the colors together. I'm gonna try one. I do love that Dollar Tree has all these surprise toys. These are inexpensive little rewards that you could get for your children. What do you want to do next? Make popcorn after dinner. Yep. You got yep. the seasoning? What kind of seasoning is it? Um, well, we have some different kinds. We have pizza, we have ranch, we have... Then I'll take pizza. Okay. I think it's going to rain again soon. The skies are pretty dark. I saw something about the... Something was right for funnel clouds to form, but we haven't really seen any bad weather yet. Thought we'd stop at Walgreens just to take a look around. We just needed to get out a little bit today. 
I've been having trouble with headaches this week, so I just we just need to get out a little more. <laughs> I always like to look at this section to see what they have fun, but not much really. Lots of summer stuff. It's a nice squishy. Oh, you gonna hang, hang on to him like that. What'd you find, Craig? Oh, you found the whole gang here, huh? Or sparkly blue with a rainbow bandana. Craig likes to describe them. Queen of rock and roll. Tina Turner? Yeah. Do you know Tina Turner songs? Yeah, she said she lived, he lives in you from The Lion King, too. Oh, yeah. Cat farts? Are they hmm. serious? <laughs> exactly. Are they serious? The noises are giving us a break. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to put it. It's very quiet in here. Mm. Is that from Super Mario Brothers? Yep. Oh, what's that one? Let me see. Is it a little, like, penguin guy? No. I don't know. Turn him around so I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? The Magnum Pill or something? Oh, okay. It's the Bullet Bullet Bill. Bullet Bill. More surprises here. <laughs> Me rat from a rat rat from a bunch of rats. Hey, who's the rodent? Hey, who is that bird? Lovey loves things like this. Okay, I might have to buy it for her. That will keep her busy for a long time. Hey everyone, this is Craigie Barry here, and tonight we're making popcorn. That's right. We got this popcorn when we were in the Amana colonies, and we're going to make some a couple of different we're going to use this popcorn seasoning which is kind of like a seasoning salt and then we're going to make one we craig wanted to try one pizza flavored which we got this um we got this seasoning when we were at disney springs it's called the spice and tea exchange and it's actually for popcorn we might mix in a little bit of this pizza magic too. Our first step, well, we have to add the oil. So we add about a fourth of a cup of oil and we have not made popcorn for a while. So I'm just guessing on this. And we're using, well, we usually have a stir crazy popcorn popper, but that quit working and we got this nostalgia brand from Amazon. You can go ahead and put in a, a little over half a cup of popcorn. But the Nostalgia brand works really great, and it's a lot easier to clean. This base actually comes off of the red part, so you just can put it, either wash it by hand, or I just put it in the dishwasher. Yep, now I'll put the lid on. Actually, do you see that, this salt? We're going to put a little bit of this salt on the kernels while they're popping. Here, I'll, you get a little heavy handed sometimes, so. Just shake some on there and we'll put the lid on and just wait for it to start popping. Craig's been excited about making this all day. It's going to take a little bit of time before it starts to pop. Hum da dee dum, hum da dee dum. I'm so rumbly in my tummy. Time for lunch and early lunch and hum dee dum dum dum. <laughs> Very good. Craig was singing that earlier and I thought it was so cute. Mm. Ah. It's starting to pop.
You want to talk about what we're doing tomorrow while we're waiting? We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in, it has to be at least 20 years. And if you've seen some of our videos, someone sent Craig these fun characters from Chuck E. Cheese. And Craig said that Chuck E. Cheese pizza tastes like cardboard, which is something that I told him 20 years ago. Possibly because I didn't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, honestly. But they were never known for their great pizza. But I have read some reviews that said that their pizza is much better now. So we're excited to go back to Chuck E. Cheese and see how much has changed in 20 years. And Ramsey, if you're watching, that video is dedicated to you. Get in there, Craig. Okay, now flip it again. And just like that, yeah, lift that top off of it. And then I'm gonna set that on the stove. Yeah, that's good. And then these are the giant popcorn kernels from that mushroom popcorn. And we have some, we have this butter topping that we're going to, we're going to put some over it and then we'll mix it up. And that really helps for the seasoning to stick to it. And Craig's going to stir that buttery topping around. And then we'll pour it in this bowl here. Oops. That's okay. The dogs will get that. Uh, can you take your fingers and do this? So we. Okay, we're sprinkling some of the pizza topping on it. Mm. We'll just kind of mix it around. Okay, let's stop for a minute and taste it and see if we need any more. It's very nice. Okay, taste it. What do you think? Mmm. 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 Does it taste like pizza? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I like anything pizza flavored, really. Maybe not pizza flavored candy, though. Okay, so time for round two. So there's yeah. fourth of a cup of oil, that popping. We have, we're using some popping oil. That was just perfect. And then a half a cup of popcorn. You have to, yeah, put the lid on and then we'll turn it on. Some people. Well, what about this one? Um, do you want to pour some of that in before we pop it? Okay. Wait, what am I? Here. Here. Or you want, what do you want in it? This one? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so Craig's, he remembered. Okay, that's good. We have to pour some of the popcorn salt in first. That was good remembering. And then just turn it on. Some people like to heat the oil up first. I usually just put the popcorn in and then it works the same for us anyway. Just cleaning up the mess on the counter. Good job, Craig. I did just get verification from my sister that my grandfather was six foot one. And I also have an uncle, my, my mom's brother, who was six foot. Craig's cleaning up that popcorn. So most likely Craig got his height from the Sitzma side of my family, my mom's side. If you'll notice Craig's shirt, that's one of our shirts on our spreadshirt.com. It's the store is linked in our video. Uh, this is our first try. I think that next time I want to see if I can make that decal bigger. I think it needs to be a little bigger. Craig, can you here? Next okay. time, make it bigger. Yeah, but I, I really like it. I think that looks good on Craig and I like the design on that color. I got one that's a women's fit. And just know if you order a uh, women's more fitted shirt, I think this might even be the curvy fit, you need to order oh, two God. sizes up. And that's what I did because it said they run small and <laughs> it fits just right.
Run it, grab it for a ranch, Mom. Okay, we'll get you some ranch for yours. So, it turns out Craig has already looked up the menu for Chuck E. Cheese. And what did you tell me they have there that Dippin you want? Dots. And what kind of pizza? Five meat pizza. Okay, so, Craig's been doing some research. I. <laughs> We were on our way home from Dollar Tree and Craig was asking me and I said, well, we'll have to look it up on the internet. And apparently he went to his room and did that all on his own. <laughs> He's pretty excited about going to Chuck E. Cheese tomorrow. We have been there in 20 years, Mama. I know. It's time to go back, isn't it? Yeah. It may have been longer than 20 years. I don't know. We didn't live close to Chuck E. Cheese at all when my kids were growing up, so we didn't go there very often. It's almost done. I think it's done. Craig, can you want to turn it off? And then just do what you did last time. You just flip it. And then, let's see. Craig's getting very good at making popcorn. All right, so let's divide it into a couple of bowls because I know that you want ranch and I think dad probably wants regular and I also want to try our seasoning that we got at the Amish store. Craig wants to try the ranch seasoning on his popcorn. <coughs> That's probably enough, buddy. That's a lot of ranch. <laughs> I had to cough so I couldn't tell him soon enough. What do you think? Mmm. He's off. He likes it. <laughs> Watch out. Big Bro's coming. Narrated by Wallace Shawn. Help! Squeaked the mouse. He's coming! <coughs> He's coming, asked the frog. Big Bro, said the mouse. He's rough. He's tough. And he's big. Big? said the frog. How big? The mouse stretched out his arms as wide as they could go. This big, he cried, and he scampered off to hide. Look out, croaked the frog. Big bro's coming. Big who? asked the parrot. Big bro, said the frog. He's rough, he's tough, and he's really big. Really big? said the parrot. How big? The frog stretched out his arms as wide as they could go. Vet this big, he cried, and he hopped off the hide. Watch out, squawked the parrot. Big bro's coming. Who's he? asked the chimpanzee. Don't you know big bro? asked the parrot. He's rough, he's tough, and he's ever so big. Ever so big? said the chimpanzee. How big? The parrot stretched out his wings as wide as they could go. This big, he cried, and he flapped off the hide. <laughs> Look out! Whooped the chimpanzee. Big bro's coming! Big Joe? said the elephant. No, said the chimpanzee. Big bro, he's rough, he's tough, and everybody knows how big bro is. The elephant shook his head. I don't, he said. The chimpanzee stretched out his arms as wide as he could go. This big! <laughs> he cried. Duck! Big, gulped the elephant. Let's hide. So they were all were hiding and waiting, waiting and hiding. Where is he? Asked the elephant. Shh, said the chimpanzee. I don't know. Why don't you creep out and take a look around? Whispered the elephant. Not me, said the chimpanzee. Not me, said the parrot. Not me, said the frog. All right, said the mouse. Since you're all so frightened, I'll go. The mouse tiptoed from his hind place ever so slowly. He looked this way and that way to see if could he could see Big Bro. And then, he's coming, shrieked the mouse. <laughs> Hi! Big Bro came closer and closer and closer. They all covered their eyes. Oh no, whispered the frog. Help! gasped the parrot. I can hear something coming, whined the chimpanzee. It's him, whimpered the elephant. It's, it's Big Bro! shrieked the mouse. 
Is that big, bro? Asked the frog. He's tiny, said the parrot. Teeny weeny, said the chimpanzee. He's a mouse, said the elephant. Big bro looked up at them all, took a deep breath and said, Boo! Come on, little bro, said Big Bro. Mom wants you back home now. Wow, said the elephant. Phew, said the chimpanzee. He is rough, said the parrot. And tough, said the frog. Rough and tough, said little bro, looking back over his shoulder. And I told you he was big. And this is Craig A. Vera saying, keep on having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. And Chuck E. Cheese.